Hey folks, let me tell you about an interesting call I received and then get into the latest home prices and insights for York Region for week ending March 22, 2023. I received a call from somebody who watches this channel here and they told me that they went to an open house, they really love this property, they have spoke quite a bit to the agent and they're thinking of putting an offer through the listing agent, but they were looking for my advice on this property. Now, normally, when somebody's already engaged with, with an agent, I, I, I don't get involved. I, you know, sorry, but I, I can't help you in that circumstance. However, big, big coincidence with this house. Recently, I was through that house with one of my clients and my client was close to putting in an offer on this property and I had done a ton of research for this property. Big coincidence. So I, I said, look, I can't really get into a ton of detail here with you, but did you look at the most recent sold properties in the area? They said, yes. I said, well, great. Then you saw one of those solds was the exact same model as that house and you know what it sold for. They said, no, we didn't know it was the, there was the same model. I go, yeah, so have a look at that. Um, have you looked at what's for sale? Because there's some competing homes with that that have better prices. And they're like, oh, okay, we'll keep an eye on that. Fine. The square footage I told them that that listing aging is advertising is not the real square footage. The actual square footage is a bit less. And they said, no, we didn't know that. And I said, and did you like the renovations inside that home? They said, yeah, they're awesome. And, and it's true. Place was beautifully, beautifully renovated. And I said, well, the permit on those renovations is not yet closed. So you want to be aware of that. They said, we had no idea. Of course, they didn't have any idea because they went with the listing agent. Why would the listing agent point out these things that I've pointed out? That's the problem when you go to the listing agent. I had to remind them, do they realize that long before they met that agent, that listing agent has already signed a contract that's called a listing agreement. They've signed the contract. They are obligated by contract to work in the best interest of the seller. The buyer doesn't even come into the picture. I'm going to repeat that. The listing agent has contractual obligation, fiduciary responsibilities to work in the best interest of the seller. So why would the buyer who shows up out of nowhere feel this listing agent's going to do what they can to get me the best price and protect me? It's just not going to happen. I've been a realtor for a while. I've got lots of experience and that story there of going directly to the listing agent doesn't normally end as well as the buyer thinks it's going to end. If you think this video can help somebody you know, please pass it along. If you get value, subscribe. Let's get into the numbers. If you want to speak with me about your real estate situation, selling, buying, it's really simple. Below this video in the description, there's a link to my calendar. Click on that, book a time that's convenient for you. This way, I'll know ahead of time and I'll make sure my calendar's organized so we can talk about whatever's on your mind. You know, demand is strong. As a realtor, when I sell a property, I can see the kind of demand there is for that property. And when we work with buyers, we can see the competition. We can see how busy showings are. We can see it out there. I can't take you in the field with me to show you, but I've got numbers. Let me show you through these numbers that kind of point to demand being strong. We're going to start off with Vaughn. This is detached properties only. Week ending March 22nd is the last full week I have, and it's broken down by week for a whole year. 
26 detached properties were sold and over the last four weeks we've been you know 26 to 30 it hasn't really changed too much average sold price has come down a bit one million seven hundred and ten thousand uh, of the 26 that sold seven of those sold at two million dollars or more compared to last year one million seven hundred and ten thousand is 11 percent lower than last year's average sold price the median price of one million six hundred and forty five is 8% lower than year over year median price. Now, when we look at the dotted line here, for the blue, the median price, I have the dotted line, and for the orange, the average sold price, the dotted, the dotted line represents a four week moving average. It, it helps, makes it easier to spot a trend. And we can see prices over the last two months have been trending upwards. Of the 26 that sold, 39% sold at list price or more. Sales, they're not a ton. Sales are down from the previous week, but still a high percentage are selling at list price or more, 39%. We've got a few more listings out there, 55. 55 is more listings than we had in a week for a while now, for a few months, which is great to see. Months of inventory, been holding steady at about 1.5. It has come down since the beginning of the year. And now again, pretty steady around 1.5 months of inventory. That's Vaughn. Let's look at Richmond Hill. 17 detached properties were sold. That's not a lot. Six of those were at $2 million or more. Average sold price, 1,925,000. 1,925 year over year comparison is lower by 5% from where the prices were a year ago. The median price of 1828 is 10% lower than last year's median price for the same period. Looking at the four week moving average, it's increasing, not aggressively, not by a lot, but over the last two months, average sold price has been going up and median price has been going up. Of the 17 that sold, 71% sold at list price or more. 44 were listed and months of inventory sitting at 2.1 months of inventory and that's up a bit from where we've been over the last three four weeks here's markham i don't know what happened here 42 detached properties were sold i wish i could explain 42 looking at this year going back to march last year 42 is our best week we've not had 42 sales in a week for a whole year so we've got to look back even further but 42 sold six of those were at two million dollars or more average sold price came way down one million six hundred and fifty three thousand one six five three is 23 percent lower than where the average sold price was a year ago the median price of one million five ninety eight is 16 percent lower than the median price a year ago and again, looking at the four week moving average, prices are trending upwards. Sales sold 15, 21, 42, 69% of those 42 sold at list price or more. There's a high percentage selling at list price or more. If there wasn't a lot of demand for the few listings that were out there, and it's really a combination of supply and demand, supply is very low demand in relation to the supply is high we wouldn't get 69 percent selling a list price or more if buyers weren't competing for properties and willing to pay more than whatever price it's advertised at 47 were listed months of inventory because of that huge influx of sales the new math shows months of inventory sitting at 0.7 it's, I, I imagine over the next week or so, that'll level kind of increase a bit to level off, but right now it's sitting at 0 0.7, 14 is the average days on market. Those are detached properties. Let's take a look at condos for all of York region. 49 condos were sold, two of those were at $1 million or more. Average sold price is up from the previous week, sitting at 718000 
and we can see what's been happening with average price there. Now 49 sales in one week, if we go back a whole year, we had one week here at the end of August where there was 54, we had another one at 49, but we've got to go back almost a year to be at 49 in a week. So 49 is, is a pretty good week for condo sales in York Region. 718,000 is 11% lower than where the average sold price was a year ago. The median price of 665 is 16% lower year over year. And if we look at the four week moving average, both average price and median price have been increasing over the span of the last two, three months, but increasing gradually. It's not a, an aggressive type of increase, but prices are going up. Condo prices, that is. 49 were sold. 41% of those 49 sold at list price or more. Prices are going up. The percentage of condo selling at list price or more is going up. It's getting more competitive in the condo market right now. 87 were listed and months of inventory has been coming down, now sitting at 1.5 months of inventory. Here's a quick summary for York Region, still a seller's market, not a lot of change there. We don't expect to see a change overnight either. It's going to stay like this for a while. Prices, generally speaking, are going up. If there's a change, we're going to tell you here right away. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.